Now, the foundation students, I always feel, they always tell me that they feel left out and not enough gets done for them. So this year, I wanted to do a specific review video just for you guys. Now, I had a quick look at your paper and I want to just start off by saying the following. All right. This is something that I always like. I, I just cannot be more vocal about this, guys. I cannot emphasize this to you guys enough. And obviously, it's too late for you. Um, you know, you've done your exam. But anyone who's in the lower year groups and watching this video, I really want you to take this on board. Foundation students, you guys, if you just worked harder in the earlier years, because some of you are so capable, it's just you end up in year 11 in a foundation group. Your schools just feel like it's a risk to enter you for higher because the risk here is that if you do a higher paper and you don't get enough marks, you're gonna get grade U and they don't want that for you and you don't want it for yourself. You know, you'd rather have at least a grade two or a three rather than a grade U because the lowest mark you can get is a three and a three is not even a pass on the higher. But what I say to you is, if you really put in some work and get yourself on the higher paper, give your, you know, your teachers enough confidence in your ability, then you have a better chance of passing GCSE maths from the higher paper than the foundation. And I'll tell you why. Because in both papers, you've got the foundation paper and you've got the higher paper. The last part of the foundation paper is the beginning part of the higher paper. And there are enough marks. So that means if you were to take those last, I think it was, um, how many marks? How many questions on this? Uh, eight. There are eight questions on the foundation paper that were the first eight on the higher paper. If you answered all eight questions well, and you got all the marks on that, you will have a grade five. If you were to answer just those eight questions on the foundation paper, you don't get a grade five because you have to do all of the other questions but you're too tired. By the time you answer all those other questions, you probably lose a few marks here and there on some of these questions. And by the time you come to that, you're too tired. You know, you've exhausted yourself and then you're not answering them correctly and therefore you're not getting that pass grade that you need, a grade four or a five on the foundation paper. But there were enough questions. There. I mean, if you look at the empty jar ratio question, the straight line graphs, Venn diagram, there was a currency with estimation, worded problems there. There was a percentages, finding the normal price, you had inequalities, sequences, finding the nth term. These are all higher questions. If you're capable of doing that, because you need to do all of that to get that grade five or even a grade four, if you're so capable of doing that, make your teachers have confidence in you guys in earlier years so that they can put you on the higher. That's what I would really advise. But this is down to you. It's not your teacher's fault. So don't go around and blame your teachers. Oh, you put me on a foundation. This is why I can't pass foundation. It's entirely up to you guys because you need to realize this earlier. And obviously this is the way it is because you won't realize it, you know, in year 10 when you're still maturing and thinking that maths is boring, one of those things. But you know, I hope someone out there listens to this because if you were to just answer those questions, that will give you around 35%, which is a grade five on the higher paper. Whereas on the foundation paper, you need around 70% plus to get that sort of grade. All right. So this is what I would say to you. But overall, your paper, guys, it was a nice paper, I would say. Uh, but, the you know, foundation students always struggle with non-calculator techniques and methods. Um, but if you look at the beginning of the paper, it starts off with that whole page. I've always seen this first page, always, you know, uh, rounding things to the nearest thousand, writing things as percentages, those one marker, one marker, just to give you a nice little warm up to the paper. Overall, your paper, I would say, look, most foundation students, they may struggle with the later part of the, the, the paper. And as a result of that, they may not get that pass grade. But if you're a foundation student, especially if you're a recent student who's been, who's been doing uh, maths uh, in, in year 12, you would have been exposed to the, those easier questions. And perhaps this year you realize that, you know, those kind of topics that you always avoided uh, and perhaps you've done them this year, then you might be able to sort of look at this paper and say, yep, that was a good paper. So that's my review of the foundation paper. I hope you benefited from it. Until the next one, guys, goodbye for now.